Hi, this is Paul Tice with Topa 3D. We're here out in Linville, Oregon, and we have the IT-180 drone. It's a coaxial drone, so it's very stable in flight, and it also does waypoint uh, flying as well and mapping. So we're looking at this for lighter applications, multi-hyperspectral imagery also for vineyard mapping and seeing the health crop uh, sort of applications and that sort of thing. So it's an exciting time. We're getting some demos. Where's your camera right now, John? And then, uh, Wow! You were, um, you were originally thinking. Yeah, it's so flipping tight. And then it's going to go over there, and it's actually going to land and land for seven seconds, and then launch again. We have uh, Chris who's doing the telemetry and the waypoint mapping from the laptop and over here we have a GPS IMU unit. This is sort of the transmitter uh, and we're going to show some of the capabilities of that. So stay tuned. This drone here, how much it weighs, what the payload capacity is, and some of the applications that you've seen it used for. Okay, well, it's it weighs with the, the payload that's on it right now, which is a DST uh, EOIR camera. It weighs about 31.8 pounds. Okay. Um, the camera weighs about uh, two and a half kilograms. Okay. So about you know, five kilograms. Okay. Um, this particular UAV is an IT-180. It's, it's uh, manufactured by the ECA group in uh, France. Um, originally it was designed and manufactured by Infotron. Infotron was uh, acquired by ECA almost a, a year ago. Uh, this particular platform also has the capability of flying its payload on the bottom or the top, which gives it a lot of flexibility. So you could do bridge inspections and things like right. this. And yeah. without having to deal with interference with the camera because you put it on top and just look straight up. Additionally, uh, Forest Service has shown an interest in, in having us install a repeater on the top and, and leave the camera on the bottom okay. so they can have uh, full situational awareness uh, and communication at the same time. Got it. So it's, it has a lot of uses. Uh, of course, I think we all know many of them, agriculture, mining, uh, uh, marine mammal surveys, uh, okay. uh, those type of things, oil spill monitoring and cleanup. Sure. So there's there's a, just a myriad of uses. So this is a coaxial, right? So That's we right. spin this and the bottom's reverse. So it's right. very stable when it flies, right? It's extremely stable. I haven't run it with two payloads, but we have, this is a, this model has got about a 30 minute endurance on it the way it is. Uh, adding an additional payload to it would probably uh, limit that somewhat. Mm -hmm. And the two batteries together weigh just slightly less than this single battery in this in this uh, mm -hmm. platform oh, no, here. The, yeah. gas, the gas version will do two hours, correct? Two hours. Yeah, and, the, and we have a gas version with a little 46 cc gas engine that uh, runs uh, just a little over two hours. I think you had, and that's probably not as loud as. Then the tethered obviously will be <laughs> indefinite. Uh, yeah. 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 So tell us a little it's, bit about uh, the tethering. Tether runs on an umbilical cord, basically down to a winch style, and it runs the fiber optic up to it uh, for both power and then the video, and, or whatever the payload is that you're trying to stream back to you, so you have that available to you. Got it. And, and what's this? Go ahead. On a sustained basis. Yeah. What's the total weight of this? Uh, yeah. 31.8 pounds yeah. with the payload. Yeah. 50 years. 50 years. What about the safety features that it has? It has uh, redundant safety features, uh, specifically if it loses connectivity with the telemetry system, um, it immediately stops in a hover mm -hmm. and the onboard system pings the telemetry. In other words, it tries to reach out to the telemetry system and reconnect. It does that for 15 seconds. If it doesn't reconnect, then it uh, very slowly ascends 50 meters okay. and goes into a hover and pings that system for 30 seconds. Oh, okay. If it doesn't reconnect in that configuration, then it slowly descends to its highest point of flight, uh, flies over to its point of launch, lands and shuts its own motor off. Wow, that's remarkable. Well, that's, uh, that's just the beginning of it because um, 
the battery system on board, if it goes low battery while it's running its flight program, um, it stops and it shuts its program off and it returns to the landing point and uh, lands and shuts its motor off. Wow. The worst case scenario, if it goes critical battery, in other words, it does not have enough power to return to its launch point, then it, it goes into a very slow descent straight to the ground. In that configuration, the operator has full control of the aircraft, can point the camera on what we call nadir, which is straight down. Right, straight, right. See and, down. and then it can, uh, the operator can maneuver the, the UAV away from a potential object that it might set down on uh, in that emergency mode. So it's got very redundant safety features built into it. Well, this is a great innovation. Thank you for your time and you your bet. explanation. Uh, Paul Topa 3D, stay tuned for more information about this uh, IT 180 with uh, future tweets and broadcasts. Thanks.